Residents in this community are being advised to have emergency bags ready in the case of a potential evacuation. Local officials are telling me they do not want to create any chaos in this community, but they're doing this just out of precaution because no one knows exactly what chemicals are on this site. An emergency team from the Environmental Protection Agency works to test, isolate, remove and dispose of several barrels containing unknown chemicals. EPA has run preliminary field, um, we call it HAZCAT, hazard categorization. These preliminary field tests give us a good idea of what we think the substances may be. To confirm that, we send those uh, samples out to a lab for analysis. The former industrial plant is located in the township of Howell, New Jersey, near the border with Farmingdale, about 60 miles south of New York City. According to Victor Cook, the emergency management director in Howell, what is in the more than 400 rusting abandoned drums is still not known. Should residents be concerned right now? Well, residents should be concerned about, about this site because of the, the vast amount of uh, unknowns that were on the property. But uh, the more the EPA uh, works on this site to clear it up, the less of, uh, uh, of panic or, or uh, leaving your home is going to be. The emergency teams are doing the toxic cleanup using heavy-duty construction vehicles. Residents are aware of the potential evacuation. I have been in touch with the local council, our Farmingdale Borough Council, and they in turn have been in check with um, Howell Township officials. And I know that the EPA is involved at this point, and I trust that the people that are involved will be able to resolve this situation without having to even resort to an evacuation. In February, the new owner used an old incinerator to burn some barrels on the property. That started a fire, sending smoke billowing through nearby neighborhoods, setting off alarms for responding emergency fire crews. Since the initial fire uh, in February, we have fenced into the property, as you can see. Uh, we, EPA has also established a 24-7 security team so that we can ensure that there's no trespassing or vandal vandalism. If something was to happen here, it would affect some residents that would need to, to possibly leave their house. Um, with that said, since the EPA has been on site and, and working on this site, uh, the, the chance of that, the risk factor of that, that evacuation is almost nil. The decayed barrels are not the only concern. More than a thousand small containers filled with unknown chemicals were also found at the site. My take on the evacuation plan is I think it's always good to be proactive. Um, the, the township put the plan together, you know, EPA had no involvement, but we applaud how OEM for stepping up and making sure that their residents are safe. About 2,500 residents in this community could be impacted by a potential evacuation. The EPA official is telling us that the team is planning to get this operation done by the end of the summer, and then the crew will continue to do tests to make sure there's a no contamination in the groundwater, the soil, or in the air. In Howell, New Jersey, I'm Maxwell Tercius, Scripps News.